And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, in today's video we're going to be going over all the latest Liverpool news from the last 24 hours, that of course includes our headline of today's video, so do sit back, relax, uh, we've got quite a few bits and pieces to go over over. But let's start with Xabi Alonso. Xabi Alonso has been well documented to be the next Liverpool manager. Um, and basically, yeah, I mean, there's this kind of odds on favourite to take over. Everyone feels that it's kind of just a matter of time and he will be taking over despite there being kind of reports this week uh, that Bayern Munich could be a side that could potentially rival us. I don't fear Bayern Munich as such. I'd more fear Real Madrid if they obviously ended up parting ways with Carlo Ancelotti, which it seems very, very unlikely. That's the only way I'd probably see it being a bit of a curveball. With Bayern Munich, I wouldn't see it, just especially with Bayern Leverkusen if they went on to win the league. He's won the Bundesliga. He stopped an 11-year dominance. What's the point in being the Bayern manager? Um, I do get it. Bayern are a massive club, but I do believe Liverpool are a bigger club and there's more of a challenge, more of a better league, more of a... Um, a playground, if you like, to sort of compete with the best um, and, yeah, show what you're all about. And the emotional factor as well of Liverpool is a bit different, I think, to a, when he had his time at Bayern. But either way, Jurgen Klopp has actually came out and actually spoke of the, the managerial links thus far and basically said um, he was full of praise, asked about Xabi Alonso's management career, saying that the Spaniard has Bayer Leverkusen playing absolutely exceptional football. Um, and while Liverpool, uh, as I said, we're in a current title race himself, uh, he did basically speak uh, with regards to it. He said, Xabi is doing an incredible job. Uh, that's completely independent of the reports linking Alonso to Liverpool. If you would have asked me eight weeks ago about Xabi Alonso, I would have gone, oh my God. He then went on to further state the dinosaurs, if you want, Carlo Ancelotti, Mourinho, Pep Guardiola, and maybe me. We will not do it for the next 20 years, said Klopp. The next generation is already there. And I would say at the moment, Xabi is the standout in that department. He's a former world-class player from a coaching family as well which helps a little bit he was like a coach already when he was playing um, so basically stated that but he also gave us an endorsement with regards to Alonso anyway he said the football he is playing the teams he sets up the transfers he did is absolutely exceptional I played a long time in the Bundesliga and it's super impressive not only the points tally but the way they play Leverkusen has a very good chance to win the cup when you look through the Europa League Leverkusen is one of the favourites there as well so it could be a really crazy season for them really crazy so yeah, high praise there from Jurgen Klopp, obviously not letting uh, anything slip if he's going to be the potential manager candidate, but certainly full of praise. And I think, you know, as a manager, he'll probably, I know he's not going to have any say in who's going to be the talks to replace him, but probably if someone's going to ask him, then he'd probably be going down that line of Xabi Alonso anyway. Um... So whilst that's all very, very good news, um, and yesterday, of course, we won a game and Manchester City dropped points, of course, uh, there's still a bit of frustration coming out of the Liverpool camp. Yes, Liverpool fans are fuming, if you like, in certain roundabouts as to our current injury state of play. Now, yesterday, of course, going into the game, uh, Dominic Sabozlai, Trent Alexander-Arnold were already out. As stated, they're going to be out until the sort of after the cup final, at least for them two. Then, Alisson, of course pulled out and his basically his initial diagnosis on Allison is not good um, and then furthermore to that Curtis Jones and Diego Jota being seen on sort of crutches going off of the park as well just adds more frustration from Liverpool's point of view with regard to this current injury pileup. Now, you can't really blame, um, well you can sometimes blame certain in individuals within this sort of football club um, you know, there's some teams out there, it's very true that some teams have more injuries than others, those kind of things. But from a Liverpool's perspective, I don't think it's us kind of rushing players back. I just think we're not getting the rub of the green at this moment in time. I spoke about last season a lot of the time about luck. And whilst I didn't think we had the midfield to compete and we kind of finished where we finished due to incompetence in the recruitment department um, we did weren't helped with injuries also last month uh, last season there was constant players out all of the time and constant players coming back and it felt like I think three or four players actually last year didn't um, didn't um, actually get injured and were actually fit for the whole campaign, which is actually crazy. But we're just starting to see over the last two months the same kind of 
um, rhythm, the same thing kind of happening again with players coming back, players then getting injured, then players coming back, players getting injured, and then mass amounts of players getting injured, which I don't think is completely normal. Having looking at some of the players that are currently out there, some may do have a bit of a track record for it, so that could maybe come into to question, but certainly Liverpool fans are venting their frustration on social media and asking for kind of answers as to why this is the case, um, that we're constantly having a bit of an injury crisis but I don't think it's just Liverpool at this moment in time if you look across into other areas other divisions other teams in the Premier League I can look at Spurs another side that currently having an injury pile up at this moment in time um, Chelsea it seems they have players out Arsenal have players out maybe it's just the schedule I'm not too sure on how it's working out but certainly Liverpool fans are venting their frustration with regards to it and aren't happy and now it could obviously I'm hoping so at the time of recording I'm unaware if of of course, um, I'm unaware at this moment in time how long some of the new guys, Curtis Jones, uh, Anderson, and Diego Jota, are going to be out injured for. But here's hoping it's not going to be for a considerable amount of time because it will have an impact on this title race, most certainly. I've, I've, I've lauded our sort of squad depth and what we're all about, the amount of players that we have to come into different positions. But having said that, having these five real key players, probably five first names on the team sheet, if you actually look at the five players that are out, um, it is a giant blow. And especially when that Europa League round starts to return again. We've got the FA Cup, blah, 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 coming up. Premier League, it's been an intense title battle. We need these players fit and available. So hopefully there's something that we can look, hopefully not rush any more players back and, and just maybe hopefully just put it down to luck rather than blaming a specific department or a certain regime or these kind of things maybe as stated it is just how it is it's just which is unlucky um but if you look around the Premier League, you can probably see a lot of sides are picking up a lot of injuries. And it just might be the schedule and the intensity that we're currently playing at this moment in time. And Liverpool have played every single game that they've been able to... Well, they've, they've played loads of games so far uh, this season. There's a good chance that we could play the maximum amount of games that we can play this season, um, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, Liverpool fans, that's all I've really got for you today. Do let me know your thoughts on the current injury crisis at this moment in time. Games are starting to hopefully come thick and fast. I've said Man City dropping points as well. Um, and yeah, just a beautiful weekend in general. But let me turn our attention. This is how it is. It's that same mentality as it was back in 2022 and all the other title races before. It's over to the next game. And our next one comes on Wednesday night against Luton at Anfield. Then, of course, we've got a beautiful day for the Cup final uh hopefully a day out that everybody can enjoy uh but liverpool fans let me know your thoughts as a stated down there in the comment section below hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you all next time take care